you're, you're being counterintuitive. You're just gaining strength in a body part, not in the whole parts of your body. the case of you trying to get stronger mm -hmm. i don't necessarily see the reasoning behind it mm -hmm. because if you have good control of your core then you'll have no necessity for that and you're really gaining strength because in my opinion the belt is just constricting you so much that mm -hmm. you're not really engaging your core mm -hmm. you're just using the force of something gripping on your hips for you to manage mm. the support of the weight. So if you can't lift it without a belt, why lift it at all? Mm. Maybe you should start back to square run and and do it from there. Thing one themselves, they're going into the gym for like vanity purposes mm. and not like really for like yourself. It's your core. Like, every, I, there's nine times out of ten when I go to the gym, I see a, a back that's not supported on the bench when you're lifting a, a certain weight. And that's not how your body's made to support weight. Your body is made for your core to support the weight. So if you're not using your core in every single workout, and I mean every single workout, then... Uh, you're, you're being counterintuitive. You're just gaining strength in a body part, not in the whole parts of your body. There's steps to it mm -hmm. and be okay with the steps. Just because you see somebody in the gym and they're savaging some weight that doesn't necessarily mean you are at capacity to do it now you know i see a lot of people they get gym intimidation and they look at people and they're like oh i can do that too <laughs> and and then they hurt themselves the most important thing to remember is that go at your own pace mm -hmm. it's it's at your own pace, bro. Your body is your body. That person is different from you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate who you are and grow from there. Love is like a strong word. So to use the word love, I, it would mess up the answer I'll try to give. So I say I appreciate fitness health and wellness for what it is and what it does for you in the long term and fitness is that purpose you're using it for longevity for strength energy to, to make sure you live longer when you think about it i appreciate every client that I've come across because every client that I've come across that had a different ailment, a different strength, a different weakness has helped me to become more an instinctual trainer to the point where I can know my client from off the rip of meeting them. You understand? Because I've been around a lot of fitness level people from the beginner to the intermediate to to the triathlete I, and each one has their own strength and own weakness that help me learn so i say it's a it's a, a give and take kind of relationship you know you have your job i have my job so you're just helping me while i'm helping you you're giving me knowledge and i'm giving you knowledge for your long-term life Um, the secret to staying fit and healthy, know what you eat, burn it, and go about your day. That's it. It's nothing too crazy. You don't have to stay in the gym for three hours, six hours. That's like an hour or less. <laughs> so yeah, that's the secret.
I'm Luffy from Prime Chime Fit. You can follow me at Prime Chime Fit BK. Um, yeah, for more information, just hit me up.